Morning, we're on the ground in Humphreys County getting a firsthand look at the damage left behind. That's where we find meteorologist Melanie Layden. She has more on the cleanup effort currently underway. Lindsay, we just made it out here to Waverly in Humphreys County, where today is going to be a really tough and challenging day as police and first responders and rescue crews are going to be out here still searching for the rest of the people who were missing after yesterday's floods. Now on our way up here, getting to Humphreys County from Nashville, it was a very foggy morning. We was actually very kind of hard to even see the road in front of you after all of yesterday's rain. So the challenge of actually getting people out here is going to be tough during these dark hours. Once the sun comes up, we'll be able to know a little bit more. But what we saw on our way in here, a lot of flood damage. We saw cars toppled over. We saw homes that were definitely affected by this. How we came in was actually off of the Hurricane Mills exit on Highway 13. Roads were pretty drivable. Everything looked okay here, but I will mention we actually got turned around back on the Buckstort exit because roads there are completely gone. They're washed away and undrivable. So people will be stopping you. There's actually still a curfew in place where they're asking everyone to stay home and stay off the roads unless you are a first responder or someone in one of these positions that needs to be out here because the damage is still very prevalent and we saw a lot of it coming in during these dark hours this morning. Now what we know now the latest from the sheriff's office here in Humphreys County is that at least 10 people are confirmed dead and they're still looking for 31 others that are missing. And sadly, a lot of that of those people are children. So this is going to be uh, definitely a very hard day for a lot of folks. We're seeing all the trucks and crews here now. They've all come out to help. They're helping with the floodwaters. They're helping with people who are still stuck in their homes. One of the biggest problems here right now is cell service. There is still no cell service here. We can't even get a cell phone signal. And a lot of these people have been taken and rescued from their homes and put into shelters in neighboring counties, and they're not even able to contact their loved ones. So we are hoping that that number of missing will go down as people are continuing to find cell phones and get in contact with their loved ones and let them know that they're safe and okay. We'll keep you updated and once the sun comes up, we're going to go out and get some video of some of this damage and send it back to you. We'll bring you the very latest right here on News 4.